Now let's change the warm up up today. We're gonna do today we're gonna do a body weight warm up. It's actually very similar to one I used before my fights, um, before my training sessions when I was fighting uh, as a professional back in the day. So everybody just uh, find a good spot on the floor here. We're gonna start off with 20 jumping jacks. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Very good. Seal jump, same thing with the feet, hands like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, bounce on your toes, 20 seconds. Ready, one, two, kind of like jump and roll. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Good, let's lunge forward. One, back, two, three, four, Five, six, push off your heel coming back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's get nice and low. We're going to open and close our feet without raising our, our level up at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel the burn. Okay. Toes are going to do the same, uh, same motion with the legs. Just you can open your toes now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And we're gonna drop it ten push-ups, nice and slow. We're gonna drop extra low and just squeeze it out, get the chest fired up. Ready. One, two, right to the ground. Three, four, five, really stretch that chest. Six, right to the ground. Seven, eight, squeeze. Nine, ten, good. Now we're gonna lay down, put our arms in L shape. We're gonna bring our knee towards our elbow. One, two, Alternating sets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Same thing. Same position. Hands up to the side. Now you're going to look one way. Bring your foot towards your hand. Twisting your body. One, two, scorpions. Three, Four, you can touch your hand, foot on your hand, do it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Now, ground climbers, hands on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go both feet in and out twelve times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve. Good. Then your back. Okay, we're gonna bridge up as high as we can, lifting our hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Good. One leg 
in the air, hands all the way up the floor, lift up as high as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Kick one leg up, and then we kick the other leg up. Alternate. One, two, three. Drop the other one on the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two more. Eleven, twelve. Okay. Hands up. You're going to bring your leg up, left leg up, bring it toward your right hand, and look the other way. One, two, three, look the opposite way, then it drops. Four, five, six, seven, keep breathing, eight, nine, ten. Do the turn on your side. Leg up and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Let's go back to our bridge. This time we're going to go to our corner and reach our hand. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. On your feet. Good. Let's get your arms going a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Good. Loosen up your neck a little bit, up and down. Good. Left and right. Shoulders forward. Shoulders back. Good. Let's do a couple more on the legs and then we'll get uh, started with those shadow boxing exercises to continue to continue our warm up. So for my fights, I would do this for five, ten minutes, what we're doing now, pretty much what we did now. Then I would shadow box for five minutes. Then I would hit, hit pads for five minutes and then it would be fight time. Okay? Sometimes it's a little longer, because fights go on, it's gonna hit pads for five, 10, 15 minutes, but you spread it out. And uh, the idea is to get a good sweat and not use too much energy in the dress room. Okay? Same thing with us here, we don't want to use too much energy right now. We're getting in, into the uh, technique portion next. Let's go here. We're just gonna touch our opposite foot. One, two, three, four, legs straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, good. Grab your left ankle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. With the knees, circular motion. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. Open down your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, we're gonna do shadow boxing around at the beginning of class today. You guys have enough tools now that you can start to, you know, shadow box on your own. Extra, okay? So we're gonna do three minutes around. We're gonna kind of warm up, and you guys can do what you want. You can copy me. I'll give you some ideas, but let's just uh, be creative with our, our techniques. All right, let's start moving around. Let's get the hands going first. You put them in anywhere you want. So if you jab. We don't want to go too fast. Again, we're still warming up. Start dropping a few hooks. Loose arms. And we finish those combos up with the, with the double jab. Four straight. Put a knee in. Step knee. Good, back to the jab. And again, we're just warming up. We can always go a little faster. 
Right now, just get a movement. Body going forwards, body going backwards. Keep the hands firing, chin down, keep the guard up. Low kick. And remember, we have a few options. Keep going, keep punching, keep kicking. When we do the kick, especially if we anticipate an attack, we reach our hand here and we protect with our shoulder. You see? As opposed to putting our hand down here. So try to reach across. Ready? One. Put that shoulder up. Two. Three. Both things are straight. Do the other one. Left hand. Four. Left leg. Okay, keep it going. One, two. Close your hands. Put that uppercut. I'm going to try to stick the moves. Normally I don't do all my moves, but I'm going to stick to the moves that we've learned so far. Give you some different ideas. Jab uppercut. Remember, turn that pinky straight up the middle. One, two, left knee, cross, hook, cross. That's it, got a minute, 12 seconds. Keep warming up. If you have a nice soft uh, floor there, put, put in some scrolls. Good job, everybody feeling good? Now, for the fighters, and for everybody's training the technique, each time you shadow box around, go on with the idea of working on two or three techniques, your new stuff. Make your new stuff become your best stuff, right? Don't just do your best stuff all the time, okay? And then other times I'll go in the mentality of I'm gonna fight and shadow box around full speed. Like I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna push the conditioning, I'm not gonna stop. And that's what my coach used to do, always, always pushing. Sometimes you wanna take a little break, you gotta keep attacking, build that tenacity, okay? So today we really, we're just chilling. And when you chill, you take the pressure off yourself. You can think, you can relax. This is the first step. And then you start doing it on the pads, relax, and you hit the heavy bags, relax, and then you have a person in front of you, which is the most difficult to stay relaxed. But you still stay, see how relaxed we were there? That's actually how relaxed you are when you're fighting, even at the highest level. You're just relaxing, having fun, techniques are sharp, fast, but you need to stay loose, stay relaxed. All right, so we're gonna go into a straight punching motion, and then T-frame drill for a minute each, okay? So let's just go over some of the stuff we've been working on. If, you have, if this, some of this stuff seems a little complicated, you go back to, of course, if you get a lesson to catch up. One, two, three, four, we're on lesson eight now. So, heads up. This is all still within the fundamental realm. Of, so, let's go left, right, left, right. Now stop. One minute, let's check the time. What are we working on? Working on relaxing. Working on keeping the elbows in. Keeping our chin down. Bringing our hands back to our face. Think about those things. Are my elbows in? I gotta watch too. And I was watching the video and sometimes my uppercut, I wasn't turning my uppercut enough on the past videos. I had to get my pinky to turn a bit more. It's always something to work on. There's a difference between knowing and then your body having that muscle memory. It's all that training over and over again. Let's go. Got 30 seconds. Are your hands coming back to your cheeks right away? Is your chin down? Okay, are you straight? Left your chin. That's why my posture is so horrible, you know? So many years of fighting like this, and I was like walking around stuff. Let's go. 
a regular posture, you get you knocked out if your head's up too high. Faster. Good. All right, we're gonna do the T-frame now for one minute with the uppercut now. So we're working on turning that pinky so the elbow sticks in, not here. Let's go one, two. Now the hand goes back to your face. We're looking at 90 degrees, not here. 90 degrees, go. And remember the T-frame drill, right? That's what you're aiming for. As you finish it, your uppercut shoots out, straight up and down. Turn that pinky. Good work, got a minute. Pinky, you have to stay relaxed. If you're tight, you're gonna know it, because you're gonna really get tired. Is your other hand coming back to your face? Are we going just eyebrow height? It's not like here. It's definitely not up here. It's just eyebrow height. Repeat over and over again. Turn, turn, turn. Elbow down under the punch. That pinky turns in. Keep going. Let's go 15 more seconds. Remember, we can do this drill with straight punches or hooks too, right? But we're working on the uppercuts lately. Turn, turn, turn. Turn and rest 15 seconds. Good job. Walk it off. All right. Kill the timer here. So I'm going to go over a bunch of just punchy combinations, a couple of basic kicks. All right, we're going to start off with the double jab. Okay, but we're not moving on this one. So there's times where we move forward, but don't always step forward. You start to get predictable. Sometimes I just stay still and I put the double jab. Where would I put the double jab? Sometimes the guy's moving his head and I kind of have to follow where he is. But I don't want to jam myself and run into his kicks or run into his takedowns. Okay? And then when he thinks I'm going to stay still the next time, boom, that's when I spring forward. Make sense? All right, double jab, 10 times. One, touch, touch. Two, touch, touch, elbow in. Check this one. Three, touch, touch. Four, exhale, remember? Five, tss, tss. six, tss, tss. stay still. Seven, tss, tss. eight, tss, tss. sometimes we're always taught to step. We can, it's hard to break that habit. Nine, tss, tss. ten, tss, tss. all right, now we're gonna do the jab cross. Okay, so the first jab lands, no need for a second jab. One, tss, tss. nice and smooth. Two, see how relaxed you want to keep those arms? Three, swing them up. Four, five, you can change angles by moving your back leg. Six, seven, eight, turn that back foot ideally. Nine, all the way straight. Take all the toes. Sometimes you put too much weight in the front foot and it goes off the floor. It goes like a big toe only. You gotta keep it back, keep weight back in the back. Even though I'm punching forward, I don't go like 70% here. I still have 50-50, okay? Ready, let's do two more. One, seven on lean, two, right back to your face, three. And relax, shake it off. Good job, okay. New skill, we're gonna do the double uppercut. So we're gonna throw one, two, okay? Here we go. One, upper, back, upper, back. Ready? One. You gotta bring your foot back. Two. Stay loose. Three. Stretch it out. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Shoulder forward, shoulder forward. 10. And let's go back leg front kick. Hands up. One, lift and stab. Two, three, four, don't lean back. Keep your knee up high. Five, lift and stab. Six, put in the back when you're done. Seven, eight, nine, guard up. 10, eyebrow height. Ready? 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, start to feel the sweat now. Seven, eight, nine, 10 seconds and we're going to start at back the top of those exercises. Double jab to start. You guys ready? Let's do it. One. Just want to add a little move, especially the fighters, got a little more experience. We've been training for a while. Let's get that movement. Two. Three. 
Not much step. Remember, we're not moving. Four. You can move before. Five. Six. Seven. Try to point that elbow down. Eight. Nine. Ten. What's our next technique? Exactly, jab across. Ready? One. Two. Turn that foot. Three. Four. Five. Six. Try to get a member of punching as fast as we can clap. If you can clap like this, you can punch like that. Six. A little more warmed up now and get a little more speed. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Bring those elbows in. Good job. Next technique, double uppercut. Here we go. One. Keep repeating. Two. Three. Four. Stretch it. Five. Raise back to your eyebrows. Six. You can't be straight and do this. You always have to have athletic position. They're going to push something. Try it. Ready? Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Straight into the kicks. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Open your bottom toes a bit. Five. Snap. Six. Ball of the foot. Seven. You want to set them flying? As you hit, you lean back. Eight. Push. Nine. Ten. And jumping jacks. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Good. Walk it out. Fifteen seconds. Then we got one more time. We're going to do a few less. The same techniques. Okay, let's go. Double jab. Move it around. One, two, three. Move your head. Four. One more. Five. Step cross. One, two, three, four. Remember that clapping sound. Five. And now we have the double up again. One. It's not going to feel smooth. Two. Three. Just get you thinking in a different way here. A lot of times I do body up. Okay. We'll get to that in a different day. Five. And kicks. One. Two. Hands up. Especially this hand. Three. Keep it on the outside. Four. And five. Ten jumping jacks. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, deep breath, hold it, let all the tension go from your body when you exhale. Walk it up, get a shot of water. Great job. second one to crack it. But we're going to do it both stationary here. Okay? Double right hand. One. Turn completely back like you didn't even throw a punch. And then again. Okay? Don't go like here and just throw your arm. Twice so you have to reset the motion. Ready? Ten times. One. Turn. Turn. Be loose. Two. Turn. Turn. One detail I want you to focus on is watch me. Sometimes we turn back and we move this hand out of position. You see? And you can get hit. Watch my left hand. 
This is gardening. If it's here, look, they can come around. They always want to have them come down the middle. If they come down the middle, I can deal with that. I can block, I can slip, I can make my movements. But if they go on the outside, they have to do some other things. It's a little more difficult. And you might not even see it coming. So keep the center open. And we're going to go right hand, right hand. You notice when I come back, it stays here. Don't go. Okay? Let's try five more. One. Two. You can come back. But then three. Four. Elbows in. Be loose. Five. Very good. So now we're going to do an uppercut and then a cross. So what you're going to do is sometimes you'll land your uppercut, their head will pop straight, and then you catch them with a straight punch. So it's nice to combine those two. In my opinion, better than the double uppercut. Okay? But we're challenging ourselves in many ways so that when we fight this, we can do, we can do so many different things. Hands up. One. Upper. Completely back. Cross. Completely back. Got it? One. Two. Three. Four, five, snap it. Six, you want to move, move that back foot, turn it. Move forward, move backwards, move left. And we don't have to do those box drills. We're doing them all the time now, right? Eight, nine, ten. We're in, relax, good. Okay, next combination. We're going to do alternating. Push kicks. Ready? Here we go. One, two, 30 times. Three, four, five. Stack. Six, seven, eight. Eyebrow height with your hands. Okay, open your hand. It should look like you have binoculars. Everybody do that. Now close. So every once in a while, we want to check. See if you got the binoculars. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, excellent job. Everybody knees high, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to work on turning. Okay, we're going back to some of the earlier lessons. Funny stance, hands up. Good stance, we turn. 3, 5, hands up. 6, elbows in. 9, always ready to fight. 12, open the hands. Perfect binoculars. Over this way, nine, six, turn. Remember the butt, always back. Okay, we turn, open the hands. Got the binoculars. Other way, other way, any way you want. One, two, check the binoculars. Three, four, you can do a full turn. Half turn all the way around and relax, good job. Okay, 15 seconds, we're gonna do it all again. Good work. Double right, uppercut cross, alternating push kicks, and turning drill. We have three sets of this, okay? There's a couple of new skills in there, that's what we want to do. Here we go. Ready? Fighting stance. Double cross. One. Who's that good to use against? Left handers, exactly. Two. Check your left hand doesn't over rotate. Three. Four. Five. I don't have to be that fast between right now. I just want to. See. It just has to be like a whip. Always think of your punches like like a whip, not like a big thudding two by four. Okay, like a whip. One. Two more. Two. If you use your ribs to throw your arm, you don't have to push your arm so hard. You see, that's why we have the elbow. If I do this, look, my ribs go separate, and then the arms by itself. But if you throw your ribs, look. That's what throws your arms. So this takes the workload. Your legs do a lot more. Okay, uppercut cross. Ready? One, two, three. Curl it up there with your ribcage. Four, five. And again, we don't over rotate that hand. Six, seven. Two legs. Like I said before, you can get power without that, but we've got to start with it. We can understand that power. Ready? One, two, and alternating push kicks. Let's go. One, two, 30 times. Three, four, five. Binoculars out. Six, seven, step. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, like duck feet. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Turning drill. Ready? 12 o'clock. 3, 4. Binoculars. That's a new detail for today, right? 9, 12, 3, 6. You feel good. 9, binoculars. 6, 3, 12, binoculars. Perfect. Now, if anybody's out there just watching this and not training with us, get in there next time. It's way more fun. Get in there and sweat, and you're going to learn some good skills. Yeah, the conditioning, you'll, you'll be amazed by how, how much of a workout it is, even though you're not even put punching anything or lifting anything. It's deceiving. So get in there next time, please. I'll see you there. We'll work your heart and make you have some fun. Okay, let's do it all again. Last time. Less talking, more action. Double jab. Sorry, double cross. You got me. One. Two. Three. Four. Turn that foot. You feel it. Sometimes it won't go. The next time you're like, okay, I'm going to put a bit more. That's why we do so many reps. Five. And the more you train, it starts to go like perfect, like 95% of the time. When you're in best shape before fighting, with good coaching, good details, your feet just do exactly what they need to do. Six. I said less talking. Seven. It's my fault. Eight. All right, uppercut cross. One. Pop them up. Hit them straight down the pipe. Two. Yes. I move my head on that one a bit. You gotta keep your head still. Three. Keep it still. Just turn the core. Remember the T frame. Four. Seven and eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ready right the kicks. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, down, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 48, binoculars, 29, 30, and turning drill. Three, any way you want. One, any way you want. Two, three, four, always ready to fight. Binoculars, five, six, seven, Eight, half the way on each foot. Nine, and ten. How do you feel? You can stand here a long time, not too wide, apart, not on the skateboard, have a bit of width. Your front foot wants to turn forward a bit, especially when we have low kicks, right? So I'll begin here. Hands are up, elbows in, butt back, chin down. Perfect. I can see it. Good job. Let's get a break. 30 seconds, grab a shot of water. Nice work. <laughs> Next one. Some new skills, we've done three times in a row, and 10 reps of each. So the first one's going to be jab, jab, cross, going forward. This is an old skill, we already learned this one. But let's keep reviewing, let's go back to that. Okay, hands up. So let's go jab, 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 cross, but now we're moving forward. So why do I not throw my cross after my first jab? Because I missed it. If I throw the cross, I'm not going to hit. If I lean, I might hit, no power, I'm in danger. So let's just make sure we break that down again so you guys understand, okay? So I step, if I miss, I do another one. If I miss again, what do I do? Exactly, another one, and another one, and another one. I could do bigger steps, another one, another one. As soon as this hits, that's when the cross comes. So even though we're doing a double jab cross, it could be five jab cross. It could be one jab cross. It could just be a cross sometimes, okay? It's all about range. And that's, you know, first we learn the tools and then we learn how to play them when the opponent's moving, because our opponent doesn't want to get hit. Okay, you guys ready? So let's move forward, double jab cross. One. Nice and loose at first. Two, step, step, boom. Three, 
Four. Get your elbows in. Remember, I want the body today. We're, we're working on We're ready for this now. I want our body to hurl our arms up. Not our arms and shoulders. Four. Go it up there with your rib. Five. Step, step. Good. Six. Seven. Bounce it back as fast as it goes out. Eight. Even faster. Nine. Ten. Let's do two more. My foot's not turning enough. Let's turn that foot. Ready? One. Step, step, turn. Two. Step, step, turn. That's better. Good. Uh, next technique, we're going to do uppercut. Instead of this right hand, we're going to do uppercut hook. So most commonly, you're going to pop them up with this and catch them with the hook. Got it? So hands up. One. Straight up the center. Vertical. And then we're going to throw the left hook. So what gives the hook its power? Just to go into review. T-frame motion. Okay? One. Hit. And hit. Everybody, what degrees? 90 degrees. Uppercuts. Hooks and body shots are all the same. Straight punches are like designed to hit 95% straight. Okay, you don't want to hit a straight punch like this. Ideally. Okay, let's go. One, one, two, two, vertical turn. Three, four, five. The more you turn on your uppercut, the better your hook will be. Six, seven. So one thing I haven't explained on the hook yet is how you exit it. And this is one that can be a little tricky at first. So when you hit, you don't exit it like this. Look, as you're going to miss the person fly all over the place. You always want to snap, smack your head quick. This doesn't get the knockout. It's the pop. So you want to hit as soon as you hit. I just go just past the face. I bring it back on the same trajectory. Look, see? It pulls out the same way it went in. So you go boom. You see? Let's work on that today. So there's always something we can keep, I'll keep mentioning that. That's important. Ready? One. See how it kind of, my heel actually comes back up. The advanced guys know the next punch is not time the body shot or vice versa. Two. Three. Four. If you tighten up, it gets a little worse. You gotta be relaxed. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, good job. Now we're gonna do, the, keep going, keep moving, jumping jacks, ten times, go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna do uppercut, hook, and then a sprawl, okay? So, one, two, and sprawl. Now if you don't have a soft floor, you do a squat in between instead of a sprawl or a burpee. Hands on the ground, jump your legs back, in and back. If you have a softer area or you just don't care, you're going to stay safe, you're going to sprawl. Hands on the mat first. Okay, watch me. Hands, I'm going to sprawl back. Okay, laying your belly down. Now don't get back up this way. Get back up away from the opponent. And if you have a really soft spot or mats, you guys can do your sprawl and then your hands will touch later. Okay. Let's see some more practice. Okay, got it? So, let's go. One. One, two, sprung. Get up. Two. Three. I kind of sprung a bit of an angle. There's a trick to that. Four. Away from there. The side of your head will be on. Five. And let's do upper head hook punch up. Go. One, two, turn, upper, upper, hook, upper, hook. You can feel that swing break motion. If you did, didn't have your hands, you're doing that. Let's go, upper, hook, keep working. Turn that pinky. I know it's last lesson, a lot of times I wasn't turning my pinky. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Hope that more vertical now. And walk it out. Great job, 30 seconds. We do it all again. You have a pretty good sweat going right now. How's everybody doing? All right, so what's our first technique? Double jab cross, and then uppercut hook, add the sprawl, and then the punch up. Here we go, double jab cross. One, 
Constant review. Two. Step, step, boom. There's always something to think about. Details. Three. Remember our hands. Roll the dimes. That's it. Okay, you don't put a closed fist tight. Your muscle will tighten up and you're going to get so gassed. Relax. Six. The weight of those relaxed arms will help your arms go up faster. Seven. And bounce back quicker. Eight. Turn that foot more. Nine. Ten. Good. All right, what's our next one? Thank you. Uppercut hook. One. Two. T frame, T frame. Other hand goes back to your face on the hook. Three. I see some of you dropping that right hand. Four. Five. Work on the exit of the hook. Remember? Hit. Same trajectory back. Heel comes back again. Ready? Nine. Ten. And relax. Good. Let's go. Um, uppercut hook sprawl. Five times. One. Two. We're going to use your movement after. Three. Two more. Four. And five. And uppercut hook punch out. Ready? Go. Take it. Only punch as fast as your shoulders can turn. Even if it feels a bit slow. Turning. Turning. There's no point in landing a punch if you don't have leverage. Right? You can land as fast as you want. And if they don't feel it, it's useless. Feel the body turning. And time. 30 second break. And we'll do it all one more time. Great job. So it takes time, it takes, you know, it takes years, practice, practice, practice. But every day you get in the gym and you practice, you get better. Every day you guys are watching these videos and do the workouts again, you get better. But you have to be mindful. I've had some students, you know, have the direct access to all the classes, never listen to the details, keep wailing away, and then they don't get more technical, you know. Then I've had people who kind of train themselves from YouTube, they come in actually pretty good. But they train themselves from, you know, different videos. It's funny, I have the MMA Quick Start program, which a lot of this is based off of. And I get some emails from people saying that, well, I sparred with my partner, my jab was already hitting them the next week, even better. And you know, it makes it all work. So, not like I want to see someone hit someone better, but you know, you understand what I mean. <laughs> okay, so, hands up. All right, more technique. Learn how to protect yourself. Hands up, here we go. Last time, a little quicker. Double jab cross. One. Now you're like a fight. Two. Let it go. Three. Relax the whole time. Four. Work on turning the foot and keeping the ribs throwing the punch. One more. Five. Uppercut hook. One. Two. Turn that pinky. Three. Go for the side of the cheek. Four. Five. That's sprawl. One. Nice. Two, three, four, five, and punch it out. Uppercut hook. Go. Non stop. Turn that pinky. Turn. Hook. Uppercut. Turn those shoulders. Faster. Ten. Nine. Eight, ribbon, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, high five. Walk it up, off, got 30 seconds.
All right. So now we're going to just do single sets, not gonna, and we're just going to rip through a bunch of review here. Okay, we can add a little bit of movement to it. You guys ready? Hands up. There's a lot of notes here, so I'm going to be going back and forth. First one is jab uppercut. Ready? So why do we do the jab? Just to break it down. Sorry, why do we do the jab before the uppercut? If you uppercut by itself, you will always get beat by the straight punch. You need to get in their eyesight with your knuckles. Even better if you touch them, right? And then the uppercut will sneak in. Or if they duck, then you catch them with an uppercut. Okay? Hands up. One. Two. Relax. Three. Stretch that jab out long. Four. Stretch that uppercut. Five. Back to the binoculars. Six. Seven. Are you turning that foot? Let's do it. Eight. Turn that pinky. Nine. Try to get that vertical. Ten. Let's go. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right. Back leg push kick. Ready? One. Two. Smash them. Three. Knee up. Four. These toes out of it. Four. Get those hips in more. Five. Stick your belly button forward as you hit. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eyebrows. Binoculars. Ten. We're going to follow the uppercut with jab, uppercut, then left hook. Ready? One. Work on that exit strategy for the hook. Two. Three. Loosen. Loosen. Relax. Four. Fighting's easy. Make it easy. Five. Six. If you relax, go faster. Seven. Eight. Let's go. Nine. Ten. Hold your finish. See how I came back? That's your exit for the hook. Rear leg back uh, body kick. Ready? Hands up. Toes step open. Sorry, foot steps out, toes open. Chest is going to turn. We're doing a more defensive one now. We're going to put our hand out and across to their glove on the far side. And my shoulder protects my jaw as I kick, as opposed to going here. Okay? So when we're clashing together, that hand can sometimes save me from a punch in the face. Okay? So you're going to step, turn your shoulders and reach, and throw your kick. Nice and smooth. One. Two, both legs remain straight throughout, and both legs are sleepy. Three, nice. Four, if you don't open your toes, you're not going to be able to turn your chest in them. Okay, if you're like that, your chest can only go here. If you go here, your chest can go all the way behind. Six, going to facilitate that spin. Seven, reach that hand up. Eight, Nine. Good job. Now throw it like a, like a whip, like a sword. Ready? Fast one. Let the white butt on the slippery floor. Ten. And relax. Ten seconds. All right. Jab, uppercut, hook, and across now. Let's go. One. One, two, three, four. Two. You see how you have to lock in one spot? That way you just have to rotate. You start moving. Imagine trying to keep up with all those punches, if not more, this is only four punches. You get the combination seven, eight, nine, ten punches. Ready? One. If you lock it in there, you're ready to go. Two. Three. Right back, the elbows in. My elbows are sticking out there, so I'm in here. Four. And sink them. Five. We're all getting better together, we're all getting in shape for this. Let's go. Six, drop them in. Seven, want to go hit harder, what do we do? Punch faster. Eight, nine, one more. 
Look at him. Move your head. Look at me. Come on, you're punching me. Ready? Ten. Oh, nice shot. Come on. Lucky shot. Get it back. All right. Next, we're going to do the left push kick. Lead leg. Ready? Tap it. One. Boom. Stick it. Two. Boom. Let's go. Three. Have your bottom leg flat. Support it. Leg straight. Four. Lift and stack. Five. Lift and stack. Six. Like a jab. Keep them away. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. And relax. Woo, getting down the list now. Let's go. This time we have double uppercut. Little review. One. Upper. Upper. Two. Upper. Upper. Work on turning the shoulder at 90 degrees. Three. Turn. Turn. It's like two right hands. Four. Turn. Turn. Right back to your face, ideally. Five. Six. Turn that pinky. Let's get it vertical. Seven. Yes. Straight up and down. Eight. Nine. Left hand up. Elbows in. Ten. Elbows in. And left leg body kick now. Body stance. Keep reviewing these. Step out to the right. Open the toes. Turn the choke shoulders. And then reach this hand. Help protect. One. Two. Tuck that chin always. As soon as the bell goes to start to match, boom. That's your homework. I want you to walk around the house like this for a couple hours. Every day. That's some joking kids. I'm doing one of Ready? Four. Nice. That's good. Five. Work it. Six. One more. One more. Seven. And relax. Good job. You'll notice you're getting higher and higher too as you start swinging that leg. Okay, we're down to our last two or three in the list of review. Let's go uppercut, the left hook. Ready? Hands up. I lied. Uppercut, cross. One. Stay in hand. Two. Remember, we pop the chin up and then we catch it with a straight. Three. Move your head. If you're a little more advanced, let's get a little bit of footwork, get a little bit of faking. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Very good. Okay, we're going to do a wrestling shot now, okay? If you don't have a soft floor, just do squats again. But watch me, we're going to shoot in for a takedown. Change your level, everybody, okay? I'll show you actually where you don't have to grab one. Just change your level, put the weight on your back foot, okay? Step, square up, drop your knee to the floor, step up, and up, okay? Ready? Let's do it again. Change your level, weight on the back foot, step deep, square up, okay? Drop the front knee, that's the hard part, step up, and step up, okay? One more time with guidance, and then we'll go a little faster. Change your level. If you don't have a, floor, a, hard, a soft floor, just change your level, step in, and step in. See that? In, one, two. Okay, every time I count. Let's do the dropping one one more time with explanation. One, square, step, drive, step, step. Okay, here we go, 10 times. One. Move around like you're fighting, you need to throw a few punches. Two. Back of your feet quick. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. If you need a big step, take a big step. Ten. 
and relax. Good job. Woo, take about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, get a drink. We're gonna finish with one round of shadow boxing. Do a little conditioning at the end. That'll be good for tonight. Doing a great job. subscribe please subscribe on the channel the YouTube channel helps a lot to get our videos up uh, a little higher rated and uh, hit notifications you get a notification in case you forget and you're missing one of our new videos that's being posted so 30 more seconds we're always posting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu techniques boxing techniques I'm going to be more active with YouTube cleaning up my channel right now I have a lot of old videos I've been doing YouTube for a long time but getting back into it obviously it's a uh, been a lot of fun. Don't forget to check out Jocelyn's online too for your jiu-jitsu people. Uh, there are already hundreds of techniques on there. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's going to be a five-minute round. Pro round, okay? Get ready. I can hear the excitement in the household. Okay. One five minute round, let's go. So usually at the beginning of the fight, I like to circle right. Everybody circle right. Let's get away from their power. Let's see if this guy's like a bit nervous, a bit excited. You can just put your hands down if you're out of range. This guy's just gonna charge in. He's gonna probably come with a jab. So I'm gonna show you a little sneak preview. How do we block a jab? Use your right hand, block in front of your face. This is the one way to deal with it. Okay, there's many ways. You just take your right hand and go like that. Not a big swat, just in case you face me. Okay, you guys are gonna do that, then we'll jab back. Ready? So they're gonna be excited in the jab. One, pick jab. Two, pick jab. Three, block and then jab back. You're not blocking with the one you jab with, unless the person on the left. Four, five, because if they can punch me, usually they can punch back. Six, I just keep my hand closed though, I don't keep it open. I open, close. Eight, nine, he's a little far away, what do we do? Double jab. One, Two, three, four, if that double jab lands, what do we throw? Exactly, cross. One, pick, two, three, four, five, all right, let's move around. Let's set up the low kick, ready? Left jab. Right low kick. One, put your hand in that protective stance today. Two, three, back to the jab. One, one, two, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, cross, double jab, jab, cross, left kick. One, two, Three, good. And now starting to run it on you, charging in on you. Use your foot, use your front leg, push kick. Go, keep them away. Go, or use your jab. Go, go, or if you really run in, use your cross. Go, boom, let's go. Go, go, cross up, cross. One, double jab. Good, let's go. Knees, float around, knee, 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 all the way around. Pull your hands into the knee side, make it sharp. Don't lean back too much, use the belly button forward more. Jab, we're down to two minutes, 20 seconds. Four straight, sprawl, or squat, or burpee. Let's go, jab, jab. Now let's go, jab, double jab, triple jab, ready? Jab, double, triple. One, two, three. The other hand's ready to fire. Three in the right hand. Nice work. Uppercut. Cross. 
uppercut hook, uppercut cross, uppercut hook, uppercut cross, uppercut hook, slow kick, good, take some around the front piece now, let's go, kick, 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 jump kick, kick, jump kick, kick, ooh, get tired, let's get back to the jab, jab, Jab by like going backwards. Double jab cross. Double jab cross. Jab, jab, cross. Step back with your left leg. Knee. Go left leg. I don't walk right into it. Step back with your left leg. Knee. Boom. Cross to the cross. Right back in your stance. Sometimes you can use that left kick to get you into your boxing stance. Try that again. Jab cross. Left kick. Step forward. Cross up, cross. So we're combining them. Again, jab, cross. Left kick, cross up, cross. Double jab, why not? Jab, cross. Left kick, cross up, low kick. Right again. Jab, cross, left kick, cross hook, low kick. Drop them up. Jab. And punch it out. Let's go. Straight punches. Last 30 seconds, five minute round. Work. That's the way you got the date. Uppercuts. And work. Straight punches. Change it right away. No stop. Uppercuts. Come on. Straight punches. Fast to the buzzer. Uppercuts. Straight punches. Change it every time. Let's go. Good work. High five. Woo. Grab a drink. Come back, and we'll work the abs a little bit. Finish up. Doing a great job. I don't know if these are going to feel like beginner workouts anymore for you guys. <laughs> They're always going to be tiring, but these are good. These are solid for anybody, any level, getting those techniques down. Even if I have way more techniques, you know, I'm gonna still pick a lesson like this to isolate. You know, that, that uppercut, 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 cross. There's another one we didn't do, but it's cross, uppercut, okay? Try that one once. You hit him, sometimes he's dizzy, and, he, and then the uppercut's next, pops him back up, okay? So that's another option. All right, on your backs, here we go. Legs up, hands on your butt. It's going to be tough. Legs up, six inches off the mat. If I say up, you go up. Hold them up. Follow me. If I say open, you open. Hold them. Close. Down. Only six inches off the mat. Straight legs. If you have to drop and then come back in, that's fine. Every class, you're going to get stronger. Let's go. Open. Probably already feel the difference now. You know, a week and a half. Close. Up. Down, hold it, stay with me. Put your mind somewhere else. Put on the beach in Hawaii. Open, close, open, breathe. Close. Try not to drop, try to just keep it, let's keep it. This is like a fight. You know, the mentality, I gotta not give up. It's never comfortable, you know, a good, even matchup in jiu-jitsu, boxing, kickboxing, MMA. It's a tough fight. It's never easy. If it's easy, you're fighting the wrong person. Up. It's always a, always a struggle, but it's so worth it at the end of the match. It's so worth it at the end of a training session. Push yourself, right? See what you're made of. Let's go. Close. Open. You got it. Let's go. And like I said, if you're... Not in shape for it, you have to drop. That's all right. Just get back to it as fast as you can. Down. Open. Do the great job. Close. Open. Close. Up. Down. Hold it. Six inches off the mat. Open. I learned this drill from my friend Marcelo Garcia. Close. Fortunate to have him when I was a brown belt. He was here for 
two weeks twice a month of training. And he used to punish us with this drill. Good for your guard. Good for your conditioning. Open. Fight, don't say it, guys. Just follow with me. Close. I'm going to do the lighter version for you today. Still tough, so let's go down. Hold it. Up. Open. Close. Down. Open. Close. Open. Close. Up. Keep it up. Let's go. Good work. Open. Close. Down. Come on. Fight the urge to drop it. Let's keep it working. You got it. No problem. Put your mind elsewhere. Let's keep breathing. Feed that body with oxygen. Open. Close. Up. Open. Close. Open. Close. Down. Nice. Six inches off the mat. Straight leg. Straight him up. Open. Hold it. Close. Up. You can put your hands wherever you want. If you want to try behind your head, open. Close. Out the side, down. Ooh, feel it. Open. Close. I swear we're almost done. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's go. Up. Open. Close. We're going to give up? Everybody yell, no. No sensei. Open. Close. Down. No way. Woo-wee. Let's go. Open. Close. You got it. Let's go. Keep fighting. Don't drop. Up. Open. Close. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Open. Close. Open. Close. Up. Down. Sorry. Okay, go to that. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Let's go. Ten. Nine more times. Eight more times. You can do the buzzer. Go seven more times. Six. Keep it straight. Five more times. Four. Let's go. Don't stop with the buzzer. Three. Two more. One more. Beautiful. Great job, my friends. Let's keep tuning in. We got one more day tomorrow. We're going to rest on the weekend. You recover. Get stronger. Hopefully, notice the difference in your technique, your conditioning level. I know I have as well. Keep drilling. Go to practice on the weekend. I know some of you are still doing the videos and go over some prior ones. Maybe you have certain movements that you struggle with. Go over those. But in other words, I'll see you soon. And I appreciate you guys spreading the word, subscribing, and you know, let's get more people in these workouts. Share them with your friends. Want to come train with us? Maybe a lot of people want to get introduced to martial arts. This is a good way to do it. No pressure, right in their own home. But I uh, try to train you guys like you're right here with me, one on one. Great job tonight.